Welcome to Play More TV, where you can live more and play more indoors. We have a very special show for you today. Since 2015, the MNC PPC Department of Parks and Recreation, Prince George's County, hosts a Juneteenth celebration. This year, we hosted Juneteenth virtually. For today's show, we will be highlighting a few of our Juneteenth performances by violinist Chelsea Green, percussionist Don Johns, a roller skating workshop by Kenneth Davis, vocalist Solomon Howard, and songstress Sharice Jones. This first performance is by Chelsea Green. Get ready to be wowed by this soulful violinist. My name is Chelsea Green. I'm a violinist, violist, vocalist, and educator. I am so honored for the opportunity to share in music with you all today to celebrate such a momentous day as Juneteenth. It is my prayer that you and your family are safe, well, and all healthy. I pray that we can come together for this special time and celebrate joy, celebrate life, and celebrate love. Y'all have a blessed day. Definitely get in touch with me online. Tell me what songs you heard, okay? And let me know if you and your family were able to rock out with me today. Y'all be blessed and I pray you enjoy it. Come on, get up and have some fun with me. We're celebrating. This is Juneteenth. Yeah.
time to learn what's behind the drummer's beat with percussionist Don Johns. Drum roll, please. Everybody, my name is Donnie Johns, and I am the founder and director of the DMV Percussion Academy. I'm super honored and excited to be partnering with the Prince George's County Parks and Recreation Organization and presenting you all with a series of introductory videos teaching you the basics of drums and percussion. Hey everybody, as you can see, this is a drum set. Let me quickly go over the various parts of a drum set. This right here is your snare drum. These are your toms, your high tom or rack tom. This is your low tom or your floor tom. This right here is called the kick drum or the bass drum. And then these are cymbals. These are hi-hat cymbals. You can play with the cymbals together or closed. Or you can open them up. Here I have a crash cymbal for major impact. And then I have a ride cymbal for keeping time. Okay? The drum set is a very unique instrument because it really combines all many different styles from around the world. The snare drum started in the continent of Europe. Our toms or our drums come out of Africa and then our cymbals come from the Middle East and Asia. So when you're playing a drum set, you really are representing various, uh, several cultures from around the world. I'm going to start with playing a style that originated here in America. Um, and it's a, it's a jazz style that's called the swing. Next, I'm going to play for you all what's called a rock beat. Now I'm going to play those styles with background tracks so you can hear how those styles fit into the different types of music. So next I'm going to play for you guys a funk beat. A funk beat merged out of the rock beat but adds what we call some syncopation and a little bit of a groovier, groovier feel.
So, now kids, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we call rudimental drumming. The type of drumming that you would hear, say, in a drum line, in a marching band, with a parade down the street. That consists of primarily the snare drum. And the snare drum, in order to play this in the rudimental style, you have to learn what are called rudiments. So I'm going to briefly go over some of the basic rudiments that make up snare drumming in the marching or drumline style. One of the very important ones we have is called a paradiddle. The cool thing about a paradiddle, like many rudiments, is you actually play it the way that you say it. So paradiddle. When I'm saying diddle, I am doubling. Paradiddle. I can do the same thing starting with my left hand. Paradiddle. Paradiddle. When I place them together, Those, that's a very important rudiment to use in marching style drumming. Now I'm going to play for you a little bit of what we call a street beat or a cadence, something that you would hear with a marching band marching down the street. Every year, the Department of Parks and Recreation's Black History Month poster is designed by young artists in Prince George's County. We're trying to show like the growth and how it's like an ever-changing movement trying to bring black women from a place of just a lot of oppression and being able to lift them up and make sure their voices are heard. Well, my favorite part is definitely going on all these trips to go see all these historical places and learn about the women who have put us where we are today. You know, you hear about the Harriet Tubmans and the Sojourner Truths, but you got to hear some names that were kind of more behind the scenes. Our poster is highlighting how it's not just like one day one person woke up and decided they were going to completely change who was involved with politics. We're trying to show like the growth and how it's like an ever-changing movement. I found out about this program from one of my art teachers. It's such an open opportunity that gives you great materials to work with and great people to surround yourself with. Help celebrate Black History Month in Prince George's County at a number of events throughout the month of February and be sure to pick up a collector's Black History Month post. Next up, it's all about roller skating with Kenneth Rollo Davis. Stick around and learn a few moves. Everyone, I hope everyone's in good health. My name is Kenneth Davis, also known as Rollo. I am a professional roller skater. I've been skating for over 40 years and I love doing it. It's a great art form. I'm happy to be crea uh, connected with Creative Suitland. So roller skating is very important. Um, it's a very important skill to have. It kept me out of trouble when I was a kid. It, I always had something to do. There's something you can do without having, you don't need a friend to roller skate. You can skate by yourself. You can get in your own little world and separate yourself from all the drama and all the stuff that goes on outside of it. Great form of exercise. Also a great way to meet people. So I've been skating basically all my life. I've never stopped. You know, growing up in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts, you know, I, um, I had a martial arts instructor. His name was Ron McNear. He was the black astronaut that died in the Space Shuttle Challenger when it blew up. And he was my mentor. And um, he passed something on to me that I'm able to now share with other kids, you know, mentorship. Um, roller skating has always kept me out of trouble. Uh, I try to offer it to, you know, the youth and not just the youth, but to those that might be a little bit more seasoned. Um, I offer that to them as well, but um, it's a great way to uh, socially uh, be um, in a place where you don't need to depend on others to have fun. 
you know, one other thing I'd like to mention is, uh, you know, getting into roller, roller skating. Once you, once you enter the world of roller skating, once you enter that main door, there's a lot of other doors that you can go into. And what I mean by that is each state has its own individuality or own style of skating. Each state. I mean, I can look at you and tell you where you're from just by your skating art. Um, for example, California, like, they like to do what's called a Cali slide. They do a lot of sliding. Um, Chicago, they, they do what's called JB style, which is from James Brown, the James Brown era. They take a lot of his music and they've developed a skate style around his music. Um, New York, uh, Boston, uh, Philly, they all sit into the same sort of category. It's just sort of like an upbeat tempo, anything um, over uh, 100 beats a minute. That's the type of tempo that they carry. The DMV has its own style as well. They're more of a slow, cool, casual, laid back style. That's the DMV. Um, anything from, from, from Delaware to, I would say, Richmond, Virginia, that whole area right there has a DMV style. So, you know, different parts of the country, they do different, uh, different styles, and it, it's just a whole nother world. Okay, today I will be demonstrating how to roller skate. Uh, just basic instructions on how to get started. If you're new at this, or you want to give skating a try. Again, I am at Creative Suitland and I do teach there and we do have beginner classes. But today I'm going to work with you on how to get started on skate dancing. Okay, for all of my people out there that think they may want to get into roller skating, I have a treat for you. Beginner skating, this is going to be an instructional step. Now remember, we're going to be stepping and not rolling. So the, the most important thing is finding your center of gravity. So we're going to be stepping. Real simple step. You want to start with right foot first. One, to your heel. And two. Then you're going to step out for one. You're going to turn two. Turn back on three. And step back on four. Again, you're starting... One, toes up, two, and then we want one, two, three, step back on four, okay? And real time looks like this, one, two, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to add one more move to that. At the end, we're going to add a second, one, two, three and four, and that should look like this. Step, step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. That's real time. One more time. Step, and step. Now the hardest part on this one, two, three, four, step out on one, that's easy. Two, now when you do two, your heels gotta actually come up off the ground just a little bit. So you can turn. You're sitting right in the middle. Those heels come up again, and you turn back from the hips, and then step back. So it's one, turn, turn, step. So all together, we have one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four. Let's see what that looks like to music. is a is a outreach group we like to reach out we try to help trouble kids if we can um because that's what saved me remember so you know in my neighborhood growing up in cambridge mass roller skating and martial arts were the two things that i did that kept me busy all the time uh, kept me away from when they wanted to go and steal a car or they wanted to go and do this so they you know i would always go the other way i would go to karate class or i would go roller skating um but Lace Em Up is, is a outreach group that might we might give backpacks out 
or kids going back to school. We might give turkeys out during Thanksgiving. We might do a toy drive during Christmas. Uh, we might just go one day and just randomly feed the homeless. So that's what we do. We, we like to give back. We like to serve the community because I think the greatest in the kingdom is the person that serves. It's very important that we serve and we give back. Um, so yeah, you know, we're just an outreach group. Uh, it's about 65 members. Uh, we're not all skaters. Some of us are skaters. Some of us are non-skaters, business owners, uh, or people that just like to give back. So um, that's what Lace Em Up is all about. And you need to know more about that. Just, just contact me and I can let you know how to be a part of that group. The next performance is by vocalist Solomon Howard singing his moving rendition of Keep Your Hand on the Plow. Keep your hand on the plow and hold on.
The last performance is by songstress Sharice Jones, singing an inspirational piece entitled, God Has Smiled On Me. When I thought about this opportunity to be able to come to perform, and considering how the climate of our country has just become, I think about how one person was able to change the forecast of our hearts so that it wasn't just simply something about Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace, say her name, say his name, that we became unified in the understanding that under all of the circumstances that we're going through, that there is only one person, one being that really could have gotten us to this point. And I thought about my grandmother, who's only two generations removed from me that was picking cotton and how much oppression we've overcome, but yet how much we have to go forward. It's something to keep our mind stayed on, some form of positivity. And I think about this song here, God Has Smiled On Me. for watching Play More TV. We hope you enjoyed the show. You can find activities and resources for you and your family at pgparks.com. See you next time.